Well, good morning and welcome back. Time to take a quick look at the stories we're following this morning. First up today, the search continues for five year old Josue Ramirez Marinaro. Wednesday night, his mother, Ismenia Marinaro, was found dead near 4th and Cedar. His little brother, 11 month old Angel, was found alive in a dumpster in La Vista. Now, the Amber Alert was canceled when Ismenia's Jeep was found. So far, no suspects in the case. Also this morning, a four year old Council Bluffs boy is in the hospital after he is shot in the back of the neck. Council Bluffs police say four year old Q Marion Jones is in critical condition. Police tell us there was another child in the house who had access to a semi automatic pistol, which was fired. That child is now in protective custody. And Governor Pete Ricketts has declared a state of emergency in areas of Nebraska affected by tornadoes and flooding. Folks in southeast Nebraska had to be evacuated in Jefferson and Saline counties. Highways and local roads in and around Lincoln were also closed because of runoff from the thunderstorms earlier this week. Well, summer is near and the school year is nearly over. And what better time to get a bike? And that's exactly what nearly 100 kids in South Omaha will be doing today. The Omaha Fire Union will be donating some gently used bikes. This is the third annual drive. It will be held tonight from 5 to 7 at the American GI Forum near 20th and N Street. Now the bike rack stored and serviced the bikes and will provide a new helmet with each bike. That's very generous of them. Parents must be present in order for the kiddos to walk away with a bike. Well, it's a high school prom to remember why this teenager decided to take his great grandmother to one of the most important dances of his high school career. That story coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back in just a bit.